What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. You might remember this video where I played Breath of the Wild on my 3DS using the gamepad controls. Now if you made it to the end of the video, I revealed that I was using a program called NK Streamer to stream CMU, the Wii U emulator, from my PC to the 3DS. Now many many people asked me to make a tutorial on this and my response was always I'm waiting for a new version to drop. As it turns out, NK Streamer had too many bugs to fix and Namcaz went ahead and completely rewrote the program. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up this new streaming client dubbed Pinbox and I'm going to demo some PC games and emulators to show you how it runs. Please keep watching. Over here on Namcaz Pinbox repository, as you can see, welcome to Pinbox. Pinbox is a homebrew application for the Nintendo 3DS that streams content from your Windows PC to the 3DS. Keep in mind, Pinbox is currently in alpha, so bugs will occur. Contact Namcaz on the Pinbox Discord for help. I've gone ahead and put the Discord link down in the description in case you need to head over there. Current support, smooth streaming from a Windows PC to the 3DS, optimized WebP format, emulation of the Xbox 360 controller, support for keyboard mapping with profile select from the 3DS side, as well as the streaming is configurable to optimize experiments. Some upcoming features are turning off the bottom screen when the stream has started. Currently, you can still see all of the configuration info while you're still streaming. It'd be pretty cool if it's shut off when you automatically connected. In case you're having trouble getting Pinbox to run, you're going to want to get the Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 16. You're also going to want to get the Xbox 360 accessory software if you're below Windows 10. So if you're on Windows 7, then you're definitely going to want to grab this accessory software. This is going to allow you to use your gamepad as an X input device on the PC. Make sure your Windows is up to date with the latest security patches and updates, as well as install the Virtual Gamepad Emulation Framework from here. You're also going to have to enable your firewall to allow port 123 in and out or just go ahead and disable the firewall when you're using the program and then enable it when you're done. The only thing I do not have installed is the virtual gamepad emulation framework so I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Go ahead and hit your Windows key and then hit X at the same time. Now this is going to bring up a little bit of a window here. Go ahead and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Now that you've got Windows PowerShell open, once you've got Windows PowerShell open, go ahead and copy this first package provider link right here. Just paste it in, hit enter. Now that that's updated, go down to the next little section of code here, go ahead and copy this, paste it into PowerShell, hit enter. Now to the next one, the install module, paste that in, hit enter. Last up, grab these two little lines of code, paste them in, hit enter. Would you like to install this device software? I'm going to go ahead and hit install. Now if you don't get any errors back, then the installation succeeded. You can check if the bus is there by using this line right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in and hit enter. As you can see, Visual Gamepad Emulation Bus. So it's gone ahead and successfully installed. Super easy. Now that we have everything installed to get Pinbox running, I'm going to go ahead and head over to the release pages. As you can see, here's the newest release from a day ago, R0.1.2. What you need to do is grab Pinbox HB as well as Pinbox Server. So go ahead and download both of these. Now I'm going to meet you guys down in our downloads. We're here in our downloads. Go ahead and select both of these files and use 7-zip to extract them to the slash. This is going to put them in their own folders. Go ahead and delete the RAR files. You're not going to need those any longer. Now inside of here, you've got the server. This needs to stay on your PC. And over here in the homebrew, this is where you're going to move files over to your SD card. Now you're going to be launching Pinbox through Rosalina's homebrew as it's a 3DS X file. So what we need to do is get this 3DS X file onto the SD card inside of our 3DS folder. I'm going to go ahead and open up my 3DS's SD card using an FTP client. You could also use micro SD management as well as a physical SD card reader. I've got my 3DS's SD card open here on the computer using WinSCP. As you can see, here's my 3DS's SD card. Here's Pinbox. I need to open up Pinbox HB, copy all these files, drag them over to my 3DS folder. Now this is going to install Pinbox as a homebrew program. Once you're done that, go ahead and exit out of your FTP client. Head back to your downloads and now open up Pinbox Server. Now inside of here is that emu bus that we just installed. In case you needed to, you could unzip it from there and go ahead and place it into your system32 directory. You can see here is my file path. Not really important if you're using Windows PowerShell, but that might help out somebody. Go ahead and launch pinboxserver.exe. 
Now, Windows Defender Firewall went ahead and blocked this. I'm gonna go ahead and allow access. Now the server should look a little something like this. Once it launches, the Xbox 360 controller is gonna go ahead and initialize. Now what we need to do is open up Pinbox on the 3DS. On your 3DS, go ahead and launch into Rosalina's Homebrew. Once you're in Homebrew, go ahead and search for Pinbox. I'm gonna press right on the D-pad a few times until I see it appear. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit A. As you can see, here's Pinbox right here. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is hit this edit button and this is gonna allow you to change the IP. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And what I need to do is enter in this IP right here. So I've already got 192.168. Now I'm gonna do 0 .0, 0 0.2 and then colon 1234. Go ahead and hit okay. So now I'm ready to connect. All I need to do is hit the start button. I'm gonna go ahead and tap start. Now, as you can see, I've currently got a little bit of inception going on here. I'm streaming the desktop to my 3DS and I'm streaming my 3DS to the desktop. This is absolutely <laughs> insane right now. And I don't think the 3DS should be able to do this, but what the heck, it's doing it. As you can see on NTR Viewer, I'm actually recording my other screen. This isn't the desktop you're seeing right here. This is actually my desktop that's running OBS. So if you have multiple monitors and you want to say stream a different monitor, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Head back to your downloads, open up the Pinbox server, and inside of here you should see server.config. Now all you need to do is right click this and open with, go ahead and open it up with Notepad and you should get a little configuration like this. So as you can see, zero is the first monitor, and then you could potentially have, you know, any more monitors than that. So I'm currently recording monitor zero. I'm gonna record my second monitor, which is monitor one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna exit out of this. Now exit out of the server, open the server back up, as well as exit out of Pinbox and open Pinbox back up. Now, unfortunately, you're gonna have to edit your IP again. So go ahead and change that real quick. And now this time when we click start, hopefully we'll be streaming my second monitor instead of the first. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And ta-da, you can see I'm now streaming my second monitor. Okay, now we're almost ready to go here. I've gone ahead and blown up NTR viewer right here. As you can see, this is basically just mirroring my desktop at the moment. So let's just try something out here. So we're over here on my YouTube page, as you can see. Here is a slight delay going on, but there's actually less delay between the 3DS and the PC, but you guys are viewing it from the PC to NTR viewers, so it's a little bit different. But as you can see, there really is not much lag, even with the double stream going on. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my camcorder and then record the screen in real time so you guys can see the exact amount of latency. But first, since this is working so well, I'm going to try to play a few emulators and show you guys how to set up the X input gamepad. So this controller might not get picked up by absolutely everything, but you can see here's Visual Boy Advance, the Game Boy emulator. If I go to options and go to joypad, go to configure one, I can go ahead and press up on the 3DS. And as you can see, it recognizes it. So there's up, down, left, right. I'll go ahead and hit A, B, L, R, select, start. And I can even add a super speed button and a capture button if I happen to want to. So there we go. Now I have a super speed button. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So I've gone ahead and loaded up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on Visual Boy Advance. Now this is a Game Boy Advance game, so having it full screen actually doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty normal. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can use the controls here. As you can see, I am absolutely controlling this right now. I'm going to go to Free Skate. <laughs> How cool is this? I'll just pick Tony Hawk. Now I know you could already play Game Boy Advance through the virtual console, but this is just one of those things just because. Why not? So as you can see here, I'm totally playing this game right now on my 3DS using the PC to emulate it. This is crazy. I don't even understand what's going on right now. This shouldn't be possible. Let alone, I shouldn't be able to stream with NTR while I'm doing this. This literally just makes no sense whatsoever. Let's go ahead and test out a few more games here. So we're here in Left 4 Dead. Using the C-Stick actually controls my movement that way, so I should be able to play this game. The control stick seems to move my character around as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try to play a little bit of Left 4 Dead here. I feel like this is going to be a little bit difficult. So I've grabbed the shotgun, I'm going to head through the level here, 
See if I can... Oh, yep. So I can absolutely murder people with this thing. Oh my god, this is so sick. It's really hard to use the C-stick. But, uh... Other than that, I'm actually... You know, I'm playing a game. This is crazy. Alright, let me see. How do I reload? Ah, that's not reload. Die, zombie! Ah! This is nutty. Holy crap, how do I switch guns? I forget! Reload! Ah, oh, wrong button! There we go, that zombie's head is gone. Alright, as you can see, I have my 3DS right about here. I've got a video of me playing Pokemon Ultra Sun live in the background, and I've got it full screen. So you can see this is the real world latency between the 3DS and the PC. Although I'm a decent amount away from my router, it honestly doesn't affect me too much in this room. I get a good connection pretty much no matter where I am. As you can see, there is just the slightest delay between the video on the PC and the video on the 3DS. It's noticeable, and it's definitely noticeable when you're playing. Some of the inputs are a little bit laggy, but honestly, I think you can play a lot of games like this pretty easily, especially ones that aren't like super fast action, something that you just have to press buttons every now and then. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are now streaming your PC to your 3DS using Pinbox. If you guys happen to use NK Streamer before, let me know how you think Pinbox compares to it. If you're having any problems, don't forget to head over to the Discord and ask Namcats for some support. If you guys like the video, please slam that thumbs up. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike. Now, if you dislike this video, there is seriously something wrong with you. But, you know, what can I do about it? If you wanted to subscribe, you could do that too. I've got more videos coming in the near future. Much love. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.